and will pray behind a grave worshipping Imam. Uh, I find it difficult to imagine a person have reached the position of being an Imam or leading the people and he is a grave worshipper. It's such a grave thing to, to, to say that this person is a grave worshipper. An Imam, a person who knows Quran, a person who recites the Quran, a person who at least have some knowledge of the deen. The basic knowledge of the deen, as we said that, subhanAllah, we said, Ud'u Rabbakum. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ All the dua should be directed to Allah the Almighty without any intermediary. So why would any person ask, especially from the dead, while they are in desperate need for the help of others, of those who are living? When the Prophet ﷺ buried one of his companions, the companions were fixing to leave. He said, hang on. Wait here for some time. Istaghfiru li akhikum fa innahu al-ana yus'al wa salu Allah lahu al-afiyah. Or tathbeet, which means uh, hang on for some time, do not leave, and keep yourselves busy seeking forgiveness for your brother because now he is being questioned by the angels in the grave. And ask Allah to grant him tathbeet, which is a confirmation to keep him firm, to be able to answer the questions of who's your Lord, uh, who's your messenger, and what is your faith, or what is your religion. So those who die, even the righteous people, are in need for the dua, for the invocation of the living, not the other way around. That is the same reason the Prophet ﷺ, in the early stage of Islam, banned all Muslims, men and women, from visiting the graveyard because the pagans before Islam used to do that would go to the grave assume that the dead people have an access to help them and talk to them complain to them about their difficulties and ask them for help so Islam came to demolish all of these jahiliya traditions and he taught us that none answers your supplication other than Allah the Almighty. أَمَّنْ يُجِيبُ الْمُطَّرَّ إِذَا دَعَاهُ وَيَكْشِفُ السُّوءُ Who else besides Allah answers the call of those who are in need and removes the evil, the calamities, and the distress? None but Allah the Almighty. If somebody still does so, then if he does that knowingly and out of faith that those that have an access to help and that's why he goes to them and asks them for help then obviously he's involved in a major shirk associating partners to Allah in worship then his own prayer is invalid let alone leading the prayer with other believers